What did you have for breakfast? Today? Yeah. Um, I have not eaten breakfast yet. It's okay. That's not a bad thing. Okay. But uh, when you're 54, you should probably put the calories in the morning, not at night. We, we know that as you age, the cost of a calorie turns into timing. If you eat that food, one bite of food after six o'clock is worth 10 bites of food before noon. This sounds like utter poppycock. But to prove it, let me bring a friend who is a literal expert and author of multiple published research papers on circadian biology. So Alan, is it true that one bite of food after 6 p.m. equals 10 bites of food before noon? Categorically no. As I suspected. But please do everyone a favour and give them a speedy summary of everything they might need to know. Well, it is true that you can find papers that suggest that the energy expenditure, the energy you burn after a meal, is over twice as high in the morning compared to the evening. We have shown that that is not a true effect. It's an artefact of an error in the calculation. And when you correct for that error, there is little difference in the energy you burn after a meal in the morning compared to the evening. So in simple terms, calories consumed in the evening aren't magically tenfold as dense as calories consumed in the morning? No. The big breakfast study clearly showed that whether you eat more in the evening or in the morning didn't make a difference for weight loss. My main concern with this podcast clip is it flirts dangerously closely to that outdated advice that you should never eat after 6 p.m. It is true that glucose tolerance and insulin sensitivity diminishes in the evening and through the night. So eating large meals at 11 p.m. over the long term probably isn't a good idea for long-term health, but the claim about one bite after 6 p.m. is palpably absurd and there's no evidence to suggest that eating dinner at ordinary meal times in the evening is detrimental to our health. So, once again, a case of popular podcasts platforming exaggerated clickbait just to try and get your attention. How predictable.